excising it from the human body, removing it from Earth itself, the way you would a tumor. And with it, we will remove the focus of this psychopathic, degenerate ideology of conquest. If you use a nuke, nukes have radiation. If you use conventional weaponry, conventional weaponry leaves residue. Explosive discharges, shrapnel, little things that say made in USA, registration tags, these type things. But a steel rod launched from 20 miles in the sky, impacting the Kaaba, impacting Mecca, would remove from us a problem that has beset humankind for 1400 years. Now once this object is removed, Allah, like Donar, his power is gone. He has nothing. He means nothing. And 1.5 billion people now have a reason to watch MTV, to go to the mall, to read a book with pictures in it, to draw pictures of religious leaders, to tell jokes, to allow their daughters to date men whom they choose, to not sodomize children, to not spend their lives in an ethical and moral sewer known as Islam. Within 10 years, that plague, that cancer, will be gone. 10 years. All it takes is one 20-foot pole of tungsten. I know there are many out there who are thinking, oh my gosh, Jim Dynamo just suggested we vaporize a city. That's right. I did. I've suggested this for many, many years, long before the pestilence that is Islam has become the thorn in our side that it is today. But here, there's no reason that you should be upset. Because by doing this, all we are doing is following Muhammad's own word, as stated in Book 59 of Hadith 583. Truth has come, and falsehood has vanished. So by dropping Thor's hammer on Mecca, all we are doing is acting like good Mohammedans ourselves. Lastly, you social justice warrior types, you have nothing to complain about. Just consider all the residents of Mecca aborted, like the millions of American children that you ignore every year. Problem solved. Your conscience is assuaged. My conscience was never upset by the concept at all. The old gods are somewhat forgiving. So appeal to them this one time. Let that hammer fall and change the world forever. Stop. Hammer time! You've been listening to Jim Dynamo's Bad Machine. Be part of the radio revolution by following our Twitter page, at Bad Machine Radio, and by visiting Jim Dynamo's Bad Machine on Facebook. Bad Machine is a one-man media production, the exclusive owner of all original content. Otherwise, no rights are reserved. 2016.